Hey what's up guys welcome back to my flutter tutorials and in this video we are going to talk about something which is uh, kind of very interesting and that interesting stuff is that how you can add flutter to your existing mobile application which which can be android or ios app so i'm talking about uh, the native application here and how you can integrate the flutter app or view inside that native application so in this particular video we'll talk about how you can integrate the flutter um, in your android application it can be existing one or it can be a new one on like uh, suppose you are making a um, native android project and now you want you for a particular view you want to use flutter because there you find that it is kind of very easy so um i i'll cover that uh, in this particular video and that is something which is still uh, in experimental phase you can say but it works pretty well uh, and uh, don't actually expect everything to be working there can be few issues also but uh, we'll try to um cover many things in future videos as well so it's just uh, to get started with this so um, I'm just assuming that you don't know how to make a, a native Android project so I'm actually starting with one if you have an existing one then you can use that so we'll go to Android studio uh, I am using version 3.2 and here I can say start a new Android studio project now I have to give it some name uh, so I can say suppose um, add uh, flutter okay and uh, here I will make a folder Android to Flutter and add Flutter uh, is the name of the project okay you can give any name if you want to use in Kotlin then use Kotlin otherwise I'll, I'll uh, leave it like Java because many of you might be aware of Java only and now here uh, we have to choose the target so target API is 21 okay uh, so uh, the um, application will work on this api 21 or the above one okay now i'll press next then uh, it will ask which kind of activity you want to add so I, i'll go with an empty activity now we have an activity file and a layout file which is activity underscore main now i'll, I'll just finish it and uh, it will take few seconds to create this project for me okay and uh, um this this is how we will be ready i guess okay so 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 it's gonna take some time and uh, because I don't do any cut and edit or all that stuff in my video so you have to bear with me or just uh, uh, <clears throat> go to next few seconds uh, if you want to uh, you do, if you don't want to just wait here so it will not take that much time because I'll make sure that uh, if it is if it is taking a uh, very long time then I'll I'll do something with that okay so uh, as you can see we have this app folder now okay and uh, then we have something called manifest Java folder so it's, it is still uh, actually doing some work uh, in the background I guess okay so mostly we are ready so now um, what I want to do is basically I want to show you exactly how this folder looks like okay so I'll go here and I'll go to mobile and then we have this uh, Android to flutter and this is the add flutter project okay now here you can see that we have this app gradle file and everything like uh, if you are building any normal Android application then this is how it looks now we, we have to go back to this add flutter again okay and uh, we will go here to this particular location inside android to flutter so i'll go back to terminal and we are right now inside add flutter but uh, what we have to do we have to go back to uh, the android to flutter uh, repository so what we want actually this add flutter is our android application and uh, with this add flutter we want to have our flutter application as well which will work um, like an library like a library for this particular add flutter project okay so what you have to do you will open the terminal you will uh, write cd dot dot to go back to android to flutter now here you have to write a command so uh, if you remember about using flutter so if you use flutter then you know that uh, if you want to create a flutter project from scratch uh, using a cli tool okay or the command line interface maybe you are using visual studio or anything like that if you are not using android studio and intellij then there is a command flutter uh, space create and the name of the project but 
here we actually don't want to do that we want to use this project as a kind of library okay so there is a different command you have to write flutter create normally which you write okay then uh, this hyphen t and then you have to write module and now you have to give the name of the module so um what what module we should give so um say uh demo flutter okay so this is the name of the module so demo flutter and just press enter and what it will do it will run few commands in the terminal and uh, it will generate a flutter project for you which which will actually work uh, like uh, you can say um, like a library okay so uh, this will create some files I'll show you what what it is actually creating okay so it is done now I'll, I'll just switch back to the my finder or the file explorer where you can see what ex exactly is happening because uh, in ID it will be a little bit difficult for you to understand if I'll show by that so here you can see we have this add flutter which is again an Android project normal Android project now we have this demo flutter okay if you will see this particular uh, code Oh, sorry it's it's this structure then uh, we have the normal flutter uh, directories which we get uh, with our flutter application so here's a lib folder where we have this main dot dot and everything and then we have this dot android okay now um, the main purpose is that th these dot folders are actually hidden folders because i have enabled uh, viewing these hidden folders that is why it is visible here but these are some hidden folders and uh, what it is doing actually it is wrapping um, up this particular module uh, in an uh, this demo flutter it, it is actually wrapping this particular project as a uh, Android library okay so um, you don't have to go into detail so um, as you can see in this dot Android folder we have this flutter uh, structure okay and uh, we have this source file and everything now if you want to generate uh, what you can say if you want to build this particular library then you have to go to this dot android folder so let's say um, I want to build this particular library because I am saying that it is a library so it should be built okay there should be um, AAR file should be generated right because um, we um, specify the R file um, the library as an R file when we are, are dealing with Gradle okay earlier it used to be jar or so uh, you can still use that but you have to do some uh, tweaking uh, around that so what we have to do now this is not uh, necessary you have to you don't have to uh, actually do it but if you want to see how you can build this library uh, manually then uh, what you have to do you have to go to your flutter project now the name is demo flutter so let me just clean it first so that okay so clean will not work clear should work oh, yeah so now uh, we will go to our uh, flutter project which is you can see the name is demo flutter so here i will say cd demo flutter now I'm inside the demo flutter now I'll again go to um, the dot android folder so uh, i can write something like this now i'm, I'm inside the dot android folder i have to run a command a gradle command which will actually generate this uh, uh, what you can say archive file for me okay so that that's how i can build this particular library so i'll write um, dot slash gradle okay w okay which means gradle uh, w is for wrapper i guess then space flutter okay then uh, you can write a colon and then you will say assemble uh, debug where d will be capital okay this command is actually uh, used to build the particular library so you can um, use it with other libraries as well but uh, this flutter thing will not work so you will see all the details if you want to do that in some other libraries so as soon as i will enter uh, it then it will start this gradle daemon for me and uh, it works pretty well so many of uh, people actually uh, says that uh, if your android studio takes a lot of time while building gradle then use this particular command line tool to actually uh, do the greater stuff and it, it actually works faster than the usual um, app building process through the um, user interface so I don't know how much uh, I've seen that it actually works pretty well but uh, you know I don't want to talk about that here so as you can see build is successful now if we will go back to here and then dot android flutter project 
then you can see here uh, this flutter directory has this build uh, directory again and then we have some outputs then r and you can see we have this flutter debug dot r file and this art r file will be used by our android project and uh, this is how it, it will interact with it okay now what i want this is my host application okay the android one which you can see on the screen now i want it to be dependent on the flutter module so what i have to do i'll go here uh, maybe i can switch to a different view maybe okay android works fine okay so what i have to do here i have to go to my grader settings dot grader and i have to tell it that please include one other project which is a sub project okay and that is my flutter one okay so um you have to write few lines of code for that so um you can just copy it if you want so we will write set binding okay and now it will ask for the binding so i can just say new binding it is okay and now it will uh, ask the uh, mapping variable parameter so i can say gradle okay colon this okay this should work and now we can say in the next line evaluate and now it will ask for file so we will say a new file okay you don't have to actually remember this whole thing you can just copy and paste it because um, this is not something which actually will help you a lot so uh, I'll just settings dot tar dot parent file okay and then uh, put a comma here now you have to give the path of that uh, groovy file so um, just write here what was your um, uh, flutter project so it is demo flutter if you remember slash we have to go to dot android folder and slash there is something called include okay underscore flutter dot groovy okay you don't have to actually remember it just uh, just copy it like this and just press sync now and this first at, at the first time this will feel like a big process but it's, it is it is not actually you will be um, um you will become familiar with this whole process uh, if you'll try once or twice so don't worry about that okay so um this actually allows the flutter module to include this particular uh, flutter project when we will um add it uh, as a dependency inside our uh, build.gradle okay so i'll just show you how we can do that so basically this this is this is actually very compulsory to write because um it tells our app android application now you can what you can do now you can you uh, include this flutter project okay and uh, for that you have to specify which file you want to include okay so th this is how you gave the file name and everything now what you have to do you will go to inside your app folder now um this build.gradle is an app uh, uh, you can say uh, what 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 we used to say it that this is uh, something inside your application so there are uh, two build.gradle one is project based and one is the app based so this is where you have to go and if i switch to project mode then you can see it clearly that it will be inside your app folder this build.gradle okay you have to go here and as you can see in the dependencies section there are a lot of dependencies here and you need to add the flutter uh, because we are using flutter as a library here so like you add any other library you have to add this also so you can write implementation and because it's a project so we can write project and uh, you have to put a column then just uh, use this uh, sorry um, uh, this column and then you can write flutter and now you will sync it okay so if you if you have a little bit confusion or maybe you are missing something here then don't worry we'll uh, try to actually cover all of these okay so um now as you can see we have this uh, flutter implementation done here okay now um so basically what we did let me just introduce you again the concept so when we started we had this add flutter uh, project which is an android project then we went to its parent directory and there i uh, ran a command flutter create uh, t module and name of the module which created this uh, particular flutter project for me 
and then what I did I ran a command to um, actually build that library because I'm using that as a library then that's that's not even comp compulsory then I went to the settings.gradle where I said that you know what I have a library which I created now I want to include this in my uh, flood or this Android project so it is saying that you have to specify what kind of library it is so I just specify it like this then I went to my um, app uh, app level build.gradle and there I write that please implement this dependency as well because it is my flutter dependency that's it and, and you don't have to write anything else okay now uh, if you don't know then we have this uh, SRC folder where we have all the code of the Android application so inside this main folder now we have this RES so I'll, I'll just switch to the Android uh, mode here then if you will just go to res then you have layout section where you put all your layouts so if i will open this so this is how your app right now looks like okay there is a hello world which i can just delete right now because it does not ma make any sense as of now now uh, uh, this activity is actually attached to our main activity so this particular uh, activity main xml file is kind of a ui file which we use so if you have already an existing Android application then you already know all of this but um, you just have to I have to repeat this because for any of you, you who actually who is actually new to both of the platforms okay so um, this is the main activity where and sorry for the background noise I cannot help it but this actually happens with uh, me every time so as you can see this is a main activity which extends the app compat activity which is the new thing as you know and then we are actually setting the uh, content view as our uh, this layout which is the activity main okay now we what we have to do we have to include our flutter project okay so um, what you have to write for this okay so uh, first of all you have to create the instance of the flutter view okay so how you will do that so you can simply write here view okay and uh, let me just okay so import this class okay so we have this view and I can just say it flutter view maybe and then you can use this flutter dot create view so create view is again uh, you can see if we go here it is a static method which uh, this flutter class provides us it will take some parameters what are those first it wants an activity okay so uh, activity is as you can see main activity dot this okay okay and uh, then it is asking for a life cycle because it wants the life cycle of the activity so there is a simple method which is get life cycle which will give it a life cycle then it wants a string which will give a initial root okay so um, whatever view you want to show uh, a flutter view it should have some kind of uh, uh, route within it okay so it, by specifying this route you actually specify which uh, view you want to show so you can give it a random name anything you want and then we will have to declare this in our flutter project okay so let me just give it something like uh, maybe r1 okay so this is our root r1 okay you can again i'm saying the same thing again and again you can use any uh, name which you want but you have to specify this inside your uh, flutter project as well now um this is a view now you have to place it in your uh, this particular activity main so there are two options one is you can use a, uh, a fragment or what you can do you can use the normal coding and add the layout uh, using a frame layout or something like that so uh, let's just do it by using a frame layout as of now so what we can say frame layout dot um, it should take uh, something called layout params okay oh, it's, it's missing something um, there should be the layout params okay so we have so layout params and we can name it something so uh, let's say frame layout and now equal to we can say uh, new frame layout dot layout params now you have to specify what will be the width and height okay so let's give the width as uh, so basically it should ask for width and height so um what basically what we want so um we can say uh, why it is not showing that uh it should show 
okay 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 I don't know why it is not sh uh, showing that uh, yeah now it is showing this uh, what what it actually takes so it takes a width as well it takes a height as well and width and height are actually compulsory so what you can do you can actually say layout params dot match parent for width okay and the same thing for height and that means that you actually want the whole width and whole height okay so as of now I'm using it okay you can uh, change it and then what you have to do you have to actually tell it that uh, um, uh, you want to add this particular view okay so what you can actually do so um, I'm not going that much into detail but uh, if you just write add uh, content view so this is um, like adding on the top of the view okay now you, uh, you will specify which view you want to add so you will say I want to add flutter view now it will ask for the parameters so this is our frame layout okay you want this particular parameter to add like what will be the parameter followed by this view so uh, it will actually follow this match parent the width and height should be uh, the maximum okay so uh, that's it I mean you added the flutter view now uh, what we will do we will open here the flutter project on uh, another window so I'll go to mobile Android to flutter and this is my demo flutter I will select it and open it so that in the new window so that we can do some changes here as well okay and now if you are familiar with flutter then you know what's happening here right okay so uh, now we have this flutter project now you don't have to do anything else just have to uh, let's just let's do one thing let's delete all of this okay so that you can get the uh, basic idea so what I'm going to write here I'm just writing import flutter material dot dart okay then uh, as usual I will write this void main okay and then I'll say run app okay fine this is this is the normal thing which uh, we uh, which we write okay now what I can say I can say choose widget okay which widget you want to show correct and um, one second choose widget okay and now inside this method we will specify something called window okay we will get this window uh, by importing our dart UI uh, it is inside this dart UI package and this window can take this default uh, route name so you specified a route there in your flood uh, in your Android project if you see here this is the route R1 which we need to specify in our flutter project okay so uh, now I will make this method choose widget so that using this particular uh, route name you can specify which widget you want to show okay correct so don't have to do that much okay now uh, I'll just make a method here which will be returning a widget so widget choose widget okay and uh, there will be in the string we can say a route which will it will take which is right now r1 and then we can actually add some switch cases here okay so let's say I just want uh, this route for uh, let's let's add this switch and then what we can say uh, something like that this let's say if case uh, if let's say this route is r1 then I want to do something okay and if it is not r1 then uh, let's do anything okay so I can just say my flutter view if it is not R1 then obviously you can uh, change it okay so this is what we need to do now actually it wants this my flutter view what it what it is exactly okay and what if we don't have any uh, R1 okay so for the default case what we can do um, we can write something like default should work here right uh, if I'm missing something no I guess so let's just add it for default if that's the case then we will return uh, uh, let's say a center widget and uh, in its child we can just say text that unknown okay or we don't know what kind of root it is so we can just we can just also write uh, let's say 
one second guys unknown route okay now this my flutter view is not available with us so what we can do we can write a stateless widget which is a my flutter view okay and rather than container we can say then we want a material app like we normally do with our flutter application it will take a home screen and we can just say false as debug show checked ba uh, mode banner then for home we can say um, home page or home widget whatever you want to call it okay now i'm i'm using again this uh, stateless widget snippet and in the home page we can use a scaffold okay we don't want to show uh, an app bar because we already have a app bar in our uh, material app so if you will go to activity main then you can see we already have this toolbar so we don't want to show that so rather than having an app bar in the body part we can just uh, maybe use a card or something like this okay and we can just uh, give it a color let's say uh, colors dot black maybe I don't know what I am doing but let's not <laughs> make it black let's make it red and uh, then for the shape we can just say uh, maybe uh, let's let's add something called rectangular uh, round rectangular border okay this will work and in the child we can have in the center and a child let's say my flutter view okay and that's it and let's also add a floating action button uh, okay this is fine on press let's not do anything and then in the child we can just have what what we want to add here icon okay and we can say icon start add this is fine so now we are ready with this particular portion of the code and this is our uh, flutter app now let's run this application on android emulator we have the emulator here so we'll see what actually happens we haven't done anything we have just included one flutter view and that is taking the whole width and height of this particular widget or this particular page and uh, let's see what happens so if you have any confusion then you can start from the beginning and if you will do it like uh, two or three times then i'm sure you will be familiar with this and this is a one-time process now you can use any route and you can um, actually manipulate those widgets and it's it's that easy to use and if you want to do debugging and everything then also you can just attach the particular um, when you connect the device then just write flutter attach and then it is good to go everything will work and as you can see we have this card my flutter view we have this uh, plus button okay and this looking pretty cool isn't it so uh, let's let me just do some cool stuff with this so let's say we are here okay now um what i want to do <laughs> i actually want to change something here so let's uh, uh here in the border part let's do something border radius so um we can actually specify here radius let's say uh, 30 maybe okay it, it won't take it like this it's let's say 40 okay now uh, if i will go back to my so right now i have to run it like this but you can change this uh, by uh, attaching this uh, particular emulator and just do this uh, no changes to deploy it is saying um let's change something here maybe <laughs> just to see our changes uh, do something like this or maybe let's run this again to so see those changes as of now but uh, as you can see it is running right don't have to do anything and even if you have a button you want to show it as a view then also you can show it so I'll, I'll, I'll show you that also how you can do that so now you can see we have this uh, round corners okay this is how you can actually use it okay and let's say um, anything else you want to do I mean this is totally your choice and let's say um, if you want to run this particular thing here so um, what you can do just go to your terminal 
okay and you you want to see the hot reload and all that stuff that is what i am saying okay and here you can say flutter attach let's try this uh, i don't know what it is doing but uh, it should attach that okay with this particular sdk i don't know uh, one second so now let's just build it uh, let's just kill it and now let's uh, run this my app and uh, again it is asking for the same let's start and let's see whether that works or not and now it is saying done and now you can also see the uh, changes here and now it is supporting the hot reload and all that stuff and now if what I want I want to change something here so my flutter view let's just give it a style text style and uh, sorry if you can't see it properly but uh, I'm just uh, setting the colors to white and now if I'll just press R here and you can see the hot reload is working and this is the Android application not the flutter one so don't don't get confused with this now i'll do some more changes if you want to see uh, let me just give it some view here okay so uh, this is the android project now and this is on the top of it so let's just do one thing uh, let's uh, let's change the color maybe okay just rather than red we can actually use green which is the color we are using okay and now in the terminal we <coughs> sorry we'll just write r and you can see it's working great and the color is actually teal so let's change it to teal then just write r and it is working great let's remove this portion of the code save it hot reload oh my god this is amazing let's change this color and uh, make it maybe uh, yellow it will look good i don't know as you can see this is not working okay oh sorry the color is working but i i actually don't want to change this i want to change this floating action button color so um now let's uh, press a hot reload it is working as well we can change its color to black now so I'm just showing it uh, just for your understanding if you want to see if it is working properly or not okay this is working pretty cool okay um, <coughs> sorry so uh, this is this is what I wanted to show you and uh, if you want to just uh, change it to a stateful widget then you can do it okay and then what we can do we can have something like um, maybe um what we what you want to say a variable which is a counter which is by default zero okay and my flutter view after that what we can use here we can use a string interpolation okay where we can specify our counter okay and uh, okay so we don't need this and this is fine and what we will do when he will pressing this button then uh, we can use set state and we can increase the counter okay now this is a stateful widget just do a hot reload okay it's not a subtype of stateless widget we need to do a hot restart so we will do a hot restart here and now if i will press this you can see the counter is increasing and uh, everything is working right guys so this is what i wanted to show you now let's switch back to our uh, Android one and now here in the um, sorry uh, for making this video a little bit longer but just wanted to show you what it what what can be done okay that's the only intention of mine let's me take the screenshot okay and now here um, let's do few changes let's add a button in between uh, or maybe on the top let's say here okay and uh, let me just set particular constraint here okay that is fine and uh, uh, this button says open flutter view 
okay let's just say it and let's write it a flutter button so if you are not familiar with the android stuff then you have to actually be familiar with this now um, i can just say here uh, i have a button uh, let me just import it we can just write flutter button okay now let's just copy this code and i can just say flutter button is equal to find view by id and the id is flutter button only and now i want to show it on the click of it so let me just give it some space and now i can say flutter button dot set on click listener now um here i can say just like this and it will give me this on click event now i can just paste that code and now if i will run this uh, fi uh, this uh, instant run of this Android application then it should show me a button okay so uh, let's just see that it is installing it so this is the this is a you can see the difference right this is an Android application it is taking much more uh, time than our flutter one and now if I'll just click on this or uh, open flutter view and then um, you can see we have the flutter view it took some time but uh, th th this is how it will look like okay now let's let's also do something here um, in our frame layout let me just because our bot button is now invisible so what I can say I can say that frame layout can you s add some uh, top margin okay and let's give it a top margin of maybe um, uh, 100 okay 100 maybe anything okay just uh, do a instant run and let's see if we can see those changes and you can see we have this button on the top let's just click on it and yes it's still not much so let's make it 200 and uh, let's so basically you can also use a fragment if you don't want to use this frame layout or anything and you can directly use uh, the flutter view like this and it is working fine now so as you can see uh, this is how um, your app will look like and uh, this is the normal demonstration which I wanted to show you I know this is not everything but I'll, I'll make more videos on this I just wanted to show you how easy it is and still I can go back here uh, to my flutter code and I can still uh, make some changes like uh, font size maybe okay let's make it 30 okay and just oh so I lost the connection to the device uh, unfortunately so I have to reattach it um, so let's 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 do it last time so that you know you don't have to actually believe me for everything so um, just run it again and let's see if everything is working uh, just few more seconds guys and we will be done with this video and uh, please subscribe to the channel if you're not the subscriber till the app apk is running okay and uh, please press the bell icon if you want to get future updates now we have this view now let's click on it open flutter view now go back to our flutter oh so it has those changes but let's go back to our flutter project and now you can see this hot reload working on the bottom and now um, let's uh, change something here let's make it 25 and then now press this okay now also give it some colon something and let's hot reload it oh this is looking amazing okay and uh, yeah I, I mean this is absolutely brilliant from flutter so uh, that's it guys I mean this is the first introductory video of how to add uh, flutter view inside your Android application I'll may also make try to make iOS part uh, but uh, that will take some time but uh, the more videos will come and please let me know if you enjoyed this video and if you um, and understood what I wanted to convey and uh, like the video if you actually enjoyed it otherwise you can dislike it but please try to understand man and i'll be coming to more dev fest and other events also so if you want to meet me then please be there so next one is rajkot then i'll be in bangalore then i'll be in jalandhar then in uh, i'll be in new delhi and uh, so a lot of st stuff is about to happen 
please subscribe to the channel again if you have any question then please join the facebook group the all the links are in the description i will push the code to github as well so join the facebook group if you want to ask questions and uh, also um, give stars to this repository on github okay so i'll, I'll also write uh, these steps uh, in my github repository so thank you so much for joining guys i'll see you in the next video bye bye take care and have fun